Where the hell is the QNAP TS464T4? I know you're thinking it, I'm thinking it. This is like my second, third video on the subject, but ultimately this is a NAS that was first revealed to us by QNAP at their official stand in CES 2022. That's January 2022, a year and a half ago at the time of recording. And right now, we have never seen it since. We've seen it alluded to in some places. Hell, it even won a Video Maker Award at CES. And even at one of their stands that I went to, there was a demo unit of the TS464T4, but yet right now, year and a half later, we don't know what's going on. We don't know where it's where it's at. Is it coming? Is it vaporware? Is it completely cancelled? What is going on? So in today's video, we're going to cover a few things. One, a quick reminder of what it was and why we were so excited about it. Two, the current state of play, who I've spoken to at QNAP and what I'm hearing about the device. And three, moving forward. Is it worth waiting for it or is there something better on the horizon? So let's tackle that first one straight away. In case highly unlikely that you're watching this video and you didn't know about it, I do think it's important that we summarize what it was. Now, this isn't it. This is the TS-464, released a little over a year ago from QNAP. Now, built on a similar architecture to this, the TS-464T4 was a Thunderbolt 4 and 10 GBE version of this. The follow-up to the surprisingly popular TS453BT3. It was their entry-level affordable Thunderbolt NAS solution and this promised to be the Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 version of that. Running on an N5105 quad-core Celeron processor, an 8 gig of DDR4 memory, this device arrived with 10 GB on board and a couple of Thunderbolt 4 ports. Now, alongside the four main SATA bays and a couple of M2NVMe bays, this was always going to be a more modest entry. You were never going to be able to fully saturate the Thunderbolt 4 connection, not that you could anyway, with Thunderbolt over, Thunderbolt over IP architecture, which is kind of not DAS, but utilizing the architecture of network connectivity, but in a direct fashion. Still, nonetheless, it did allow users to maybe get hold of somewhere between six, seven hundred to maybe a thousand megs per second in the right setup. And with a couple of direct Thunderbolt ports there on the front, along with its own network connectivity working either as a direct 10 GBE interface or at the, the device acting as a Thunderbolt to 10 GBE network bridge, um, it was a really intriguing device. So much so, in fact, I would argue that of all of the network attached draw, uh, devices that I've talked about in the last year, year and a half, very few reach the dizzying heights of general coverage across all of uh, the general tech platforms as that device, because it covered a lot of niches. And much like the TS-453 BT3 that came before it, I believe way back in like 2017, 18, this really scratched an itch in terms of hard renovation in NAS and users that were maybe in content creation, maybe in with larger, chunkier files that wanted to, you know, the advantage of Thunderbolt storage in the Mac or Windows system and didn't really want to break the bank and spend thousands because QNAP does have a quite a wide range of Thunderbolt NAS solutions out there, but they all start at like 1600 to two grand minimum. This is a 1K modest Thunderbolt NAS solution with 10 GBU, making it exceedingly uh, attractive. So, you know, with such a popular device, getting such great coverage early doors, and even getting some CES covering awards at its reveal a year and a half ago, where is it? So two main factors affected the development and ultimately the delay and potential non-release of the TS-464 T4. Number one was Thunderbolt certification with Intel. Now that is so much harder than it sounds. Not only because just generally Intel make you really jump through hoops to get licensing of uh, Thunderbolt connectivity and support on your devices, but on top of that, just the sheer development and the rigmarole of going through it with Intel is exceedingly expensive. It's not as expensive as it was, and Intel has had to kind of loosey-goosey things a little bit since the early days of Thunderbolt, particularly now that USB um, 4 conformity and USB Type-C conformity has slowly but surely opened the doors a little bit more with regards to utilizing Thunderbolt 4 on client systems. But then the second impact was 
hardware shortages. Some of the components, particularly those dedicated to power management, the PD um, components there on board, as well as supporting both USB 4 and Thunderbolt connectivity, uh, uh, Thunderbolt 4 connectivity, which by the way has been a little bit revised now that some components have had to be changed due to said shortages. The result was that the delays on Thunderbolt 4 NAS technology, both in terms of the TS464 and other Thunderbolt 4 appliances. Now I have spoken to different people in Europe at QNAB and I've spoken to people in Taipei at their headquarters about this product and although I've never been given a solid answer about whether the TS464 T4 has been completely canned I have had a couple of nuggets first and foremost most of the information I mentioned there before wasn't just conjecture it came from QNAP themselves but on top of that there was talk about at the moment during Intel certification they have reprioritized other Thunderbolt 4 releases coming up in terms of their production something we'll talk about later on in the video but the other thing is only really a couple of sources said the system was completely game over some were saying over at headquarters, uh, QNAP headquarters that there was still paused development on it which could mean one it may come out eventually maybe towards the end of 2023 I doubt it but oh you know maybe it did come out in the comments tell me I'm wrong but I think it's more likely that it will get rolled into the next refresh cycle of the 64. I think that's more likely. And as Thunderbolt 4 production has now started to get a little easier and the hardware shortage is at least within uh, the components that uh, Intel were prepared to sign off in Thunderbolt 4 um, architecture have eased up ever so slightly. I think it's more likely that the TS464 T4 is now going to be revised into something else. It's going to arrive, but whatever the refresh cycle of this product range is, I think it's more likely, based on what I've been told, that a Thunderbolt 4 version of that is more likely which again probably means a 2024 or even later release for such a product like that what about the subject of thunderbolt 4 to um nas technology as it stands well for those of you that follow the channel over at computex in taipei at the end of may and early june um and at their own partner event qnap revealed two new thunderbolt 4 releases which they were more than prepared to commit that were going to be released towards the end of q3 2023 which for them is between july and september my money's on september going into october but sure um now these two thunderbolt 4 releases are quite big they're quite businessy they're quite high end if you're a content creator you're probably going to enjoy this and unfortunately they are not going to be comparable to that TS464 T4. They're great sounding solutions. One in particular is particularly bleeding edge. But I think both of these are the reason, or at least the third reason, why the TS464 T4 has kind of lost traction. And I think a big part of that is because these other two releases are probably going to be just better marketed overall and the end uh, the end user that Thunderbolt 4 NAS is targeted towards again those content creators out there they're going to be more in sync when it comes to allocating their budgets long term to something a bit beefier but maybe you disagree let me know in the comments but these two solutions come down to a Thunderbolt 4 version of the 74 series and a brand new um, flash optimized device so let's tackle that first one there the QNAP TVS H874 T4 and H674 T4 built on the existing 74 series these arrived with either an Intel i7 or Intel i9 architecture so again we are talking a 12 or 16 core Intel 12th gen processor there which you're going to need for that Thunderbolt 4 connectivity now two Thunderbolt 4 ports on board although there isn't any 10 GBE now that the QNAP say is to keep it within a similar price point to previous generation um, uh, um, uh, Intel Core Thunderbolt 4 uh, Thunderbolt systems there so we're talking about the 874 XT and the 674 XT refresh there arriving with 2.5 GBE but this time not with 10G. You can add it pretty conveniently, but it means you're gonna to have to spend a little bit extra, a fraction, 100, 200 nicker, to take advantage of the overall uh, benefits of like that 10 GBE to Thunderbolt uh, 4 network um, connection through the device using it as an adapter there. But there is 2.5 GBE and there's a couple of PCIe upgrade slots, but one of them is occupied by the Thunderbolt 4 connectivity there, the USB Type-C ports. But there is a, a PCIe Gen 4 times 16 slot there. So on the one hand, lovely stuff. You can use a bunch of those QM2 cards from QNAP to add Gen 4 SSDs 
at 10 GBE, at 25 GBE, lovely stuff. But unfortunately, that means if you were going to upgrade your network connectivity, you don't really want to waste a Gen 4 times 16 slot. So in 32,000 uh, 32, megabytes per second of bandwidth there, you're going to waste that on a 10G port, or at least not a single port card. So bear that in mind that there is upgradability in network connectivity here, but you can't, you know, You've only got one to play with unless you're going to junker the Thunderbolt 4 port, which seems, you know, idiotic in this context. Arriving with 20, 32 to 64 gig of memory, this system also has Gen 4 SSD slots on board natively. So overall, this 6 and 8 base system is a much, much beefier Thunderbolt 4 solution overall. And again, supporting QUTS with ZFS or QTS if you choose. These are the inevitable follow-up to the 872 XT and 672 XT series. Very impressive NAS devices that I think will arrive, but a different kind of beast to that 464 T4 that we've been waiting on. The other Thunderbolt 4 solution from QNAP, once again, they are targeting a Q3 2023 release schedule, is the TBS 574TX. Now, this is a 5-bay ES1, um, an E1S architecture system now these are little slots that occupy standard m2 mvmes now it, for those that aren't aware m2 mvmes little tiny ssds like this this allows you to use bigger beefier es1 drives or um, you can go out uh, e1s drives or if you choose they can just accept normal m2 mvmes in each one of those slots they're hot swappable, they allow larger capacity potential and better heat dissipation in those individual bays, something that M2s either have optionally or just don't support at all, aka hot swapping there. Now this arrives with an i3 or i5 processor there, again, 12th gen Intel, or eight gig or 16 gig of DDR4 memory. But bear in mind, it's not upgradable. This is soldered to the board there and it's non-ECC memory. So do bear that in mind. Um, now with this, this actually does have 10 gigabit ethernet on board there, which is great to hear because that means this compact device, not only has got those two Thunderbolt ports there to play with, but also 10 GBE for a local area network using it as a network bridge, or that as another means of direct connectivity with these five flash SSD bays open to you there. Now, performance on this was one of the few NASs in the Thunderbolt area that QNAP very early doors showed us some performance numbers. They were able to achieve in excess of 1500 megabytes per second, both read and write, and that was using uh, a Mac uh, from 2020, and that was Mac OS 12.3.1. So again, not full Thunderbolt 4 connectivity, but this is still just a five bay system, albeit SSD based. But what do these two systems mean ultimately for the TS464 T4? Well, just as I stated, I think more than likely that system is not coming. I think the TS464 T4 is, end, is just game over, not happening. Now, is it not gonna come at all? I doubt that. I think QNET will almost certainly roll out a newer generation of their um, uh, 464 series in 2024 and this will form part of that if the 464 t4 does arrive i'll be really really surprised it will be incredibly popular but maybe they'll upgrade the cpu maybe they'll make some changes since the original uh, presentation but just or every indication i've seen and heard seem to point at the 464 t4 being end of game it's not happening but at the same time we've got two other Thunderbolt 4 solutions here which are pretty bloody bleeding edge and if you were looking at upgrading your existing Thunderbolt NAS or looking at a powerhouse content um, or post-production NAS for your needs these two serve very very well probably more likely the 7.4 T4 series overall between the two of them but this has been where is the QNAP TS464 T4 and ultimately that it's game over hopefully i'm wrong and there'll be a sub comment there in the description below that goes ah you were wrong it came out one week after your video let me know if that happened in the comments apart from that thank you so much for watching we've got an update article in the description click like and subscribe as always but apart from that i will see you next time